Alrighty, we be on a gate opening streak right now. Um, so we did opacity maps previous tutorial, and to kind of combo that up, we will be showing. I'll be showing you guys how to do missive map bypass. It's really pretty simple, straightforward. You see benches like this pretty commonly, honestly. Um, have neon designs, even though the mesh does not have all this cut out. It's just bypassed or comboed opacity map with just a neon mesh inside the opacity and that's really all there is to it nothing so crazy and i will be walking you guys through how to uh pull this off exactly but make sure you guys have already watched the opacity map which should be the video before this um because they go hand in hand you kind of have to know how to how to do opacity map to do a mission map so uh, make sure you guys go ahead and watch opacity map and then come back to this um, because i'm not going to show you guys how to do it Passing map in this tutorial right so it's uh again really straightforward pretty simple and uh yeah let's just get into it now understanding that layer system you can go ahead and honestly put it together yourself uh so what i did for this one was i just obviously gave it a random texture and then went and drew myself um where i wanted where i want the parts to go neon and what you have to do with this is just transfer it to opacity if you don't know how to use or transfer opacity maps to roblox make sure you watch my previous tutorial which is on how to export opacity maps all you have to do is go into opacity over here and crank that down and now that makes these parts go invisible then we go in blender and duplicate the mesh and you are free to vertex paint it or you can just scale it down take it to roblox and make it neon in roblox and uh, I'll, I'll walk you guys through that uh workflow just so that this tutorial isn't so short already here we are in blender and all the opacity parts that go black just to fix that we take the alpha and we plug that into the alpha over here if i can drag it uh, where's that alpha over here and that should go transparent for us now we can go into layout uh, i'm just going to go through this view now all you have to do with this Holy, this is going to take me a second to save this file because this file of mine is over like 10 gigabytes. Um, but uh, once, hopefully this doesn't crash actually, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate the mesh and scale it down. Okay, right here, duplicate. I'm going to remove the texture from it. I'm not sure if I already have a neon texture in here. I do go ahead and apply a neon texture to it. Scale it in. Make sure it's not clipping. Put it in some more okay and go ahead just call it neon so you know what it's called in roblox for those of you who know how to vertex paint feel free to vertex paint i might just do a little bit Alright, once you are done that, you can go ahead, take the two, and export it to Roblox. Alrighty, once we have this in, it won't really be working because we have to go into surface appearance. If you guys are using just the base color, make sure you put the base color in here and not on the actual mesh. Like I did mention in the opacity map tutorial, turn this to transparency, put to neon mesh, make it neon, and like make it red or something. And there we go, we gradient it, opacity map. Or my vertex paint just really didn't do as much. But, uh, there you kind of go. Capacity map with vertex paint. I didn't have to cut that out or cut out the neon parts. All you had to do was uh, use a passing map and shove another mesh inside, which is the emission map. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long this method is going to be used because I'm not exactly sure when they will be releasing this, but they have given a few people access to this new update over here, which is actual emissive map. This is a massive upgrade. Um, it'll be pretty nice to actually have this in Roblox. Not exactly sure how um, performance it will be 
or if you can control how much emission or bloom you can have on it. Current way to control the amount of bloom you want is through the lighting settings. What you would have to do is uh, go into lighting and just up the bloom right over here. You can in uh, increase the amount of bloom and all that you want. Well, I am really looking forward to the new emissive map update. Um, but until then, you guys could and uh, will be using this. And if the emissive maps turn out to be not so useful, then you would also still be using this method. It isn't as optimized, like I did say, um, because you do have to duplicate a secondary mesh inside. What a lot of people do is decimate. Let's say if you have a neon design on a mesh, that is more flat. Um, so instead of having to put an entire mesh, what you could really do is put a flat plane inside. If I was to actually open up my properties on this as you could see i did also do some vertex paint on this but you could change the marble design and everything in the center so this is comboing the emissive map bypass plus the opacity map and you get uh, this it looks really nice you could do some really cool stuff with it um and overall the quality doesn't get so ruined but what you have to do is just really be careful with the poly count so uh let me know what cool creations you guys do end up making with this I know uh, I'm not really the first one that's open sourcing this. I've seen it on Twitter by quite a couple other people. Oral himself has posted on his Twitter of how to exactly do and achieve this. Um, so it isn't really anything crazy. But let me know what your thoughts are on this. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.